Okay, let's take a look at making black and white images. Now there are multiple ways to do this. I'm going to show you kind of a smash and grab way to do it. Very quick way to do it. Uh, and this will work for most of your images and again there's other ways to do it. So the first thing that I want you to do is we have our, our image here. Contrast is good the way we want it to be in color. And we're going to turn it into black and white. So the first thing that I want you to do is press Command J on your keyboard, which is going to copy your layer. Uh, now you can also drag that layer to this new button uh, down here, your re regular layer down to the new layer button. It'll automatically make a copy. So what I want you to do is I want you to change, I'm just going to title this so you can see it. Um, I want you to change this particular layer and I want you to use your blend modes. Now what blend, load, blend modes allow you to do is whatever's on that layer is going to blend with what is underneath it. So it's going to set it to a different type of mode. Now we have uh, where it says darken, all of these modes right here, they will uh, work in terms of darkening things in your photograph. Uh, will blend darker. Uh, these right here will blend a little bit lighter. Notice it says lighten at top. Now these down here have to do with light. Um, and they will do different things depending on which one you choose. It's best to just play around with them to see how they work. But for right now, what I want you to choose is soft light. Notice it gives it a bit more contrast. If we turn this eyeball off, you can see that it really bumps up the contrast. So now what we're going to want to do um, is we're going to want to use something called an adjustment layer, which we haven't used just yet. So right down here, we have this half white, half black circle. You can choose that button and we're going to go to black and white. Notice how it changes it into black and white. Okay, So right now we have this nice little image, but I, I am noticing that in his face area here, it's a little bit too dark. Now we can do one of two things. We can um, turn off our black and white and see what kind of colors are in that area, which I think are probably the reds. I'll turn that back on. So what we can do in this menu right here is your document is made up of all of these colors and we can adjust these individually. So if we take our reds, notice if we drag it to the left, it's going to make things darker. If we drag it to the right, it's going to make all those reds brighter. Notice we're getting some more definition in here. Now if you weren't 100% sure exactly what, what color you wanted to use or should use, this little handle, this little tool right here, um, if we choose that, you're going to get an eyedropper. And say we wanted this area right in here to be lighter. What we can do is click and hold. You're going to get this hand with the double arrow. And if we drag to the right, it's going to take those values and make them brighter. I'm going to go way too far. Okay, um, But that will allow you to choose any area you wish. Okay, And you can always go back in there and click again and find those values. Now say, for instance, we decided so that's a little bit better than it was before. Say, for instance, we wanted maybe um, his shirt to be a little bit darker. And hmm, what color is his shirt? Hmm, it was blue. So we would know that we would want to use the blues slider to adjust that. So if we drag that to the left, notice that the values in that shirt are going to get darker, amongst other things in the document as well. Notice this window up top here is changing also. So it kind of gives you more control over your document a little bit more. I do notice that his ear over here um, is a little bit too bright, so I'm just going to drop that down a little bit. Okay. Now, while we're here, okay, so that actually looks pretty good for a black and white image. This is kind of a very quick way to do it. Now, just to see what the soft light does, if you turn that off, notice how gray the image looks. And if we make it turn that back on, notice it gives you that pop of color. So this is actually a really good. Uh, black and white image to work off of. Uh, we can see it one more time again and from here we would uh, we can save it but from here what you would want to do um, and I know this is a multiple step if we select all of your layers and press command E to merge them together you would then have this all in one image and you could just move that um, to another document to your element page whatever you needed to do you could, if we press Command Z, we can go back. You can just take all three of these layers with you. That's a choice as well, so you can always go back. Um, but if, if you're looking for one layer, you have to merge them first. Okay, let's just look at one more picture really quick. So again, we're going to Command J, make a copy of that layer. 
And just to remind you, we're going to change the duplicate layer to soft light. Notice how it bumps up those um, contrast areas. And then we're going to choose our adjustment layer down here, and we're going to go to black and white. And then we can adjust any of these, actually. Maybe this one I would want to be a little bit darker. Perhaps you want this area to be a little bit brighter. And there we have our black and white image. You also do have an auto button there, which you can choose. I'm not really sure I like that too much, because uh, I think it's then too dark underneath there. But really, it's a personal choice. So. If you want to see what it does, you can, and then adjust it yourself if you think it needs to go darker. Okay, and again, we're going to merge them together by selecting all three with Shift, Command-E, and you've merged them all together, and there you have a fabulous black and white image.